Connemara is a place where white sand beaches, emerald green fields, sparkling lakes and dramatic mountains steal your heart. Join us in the final part of our Wild Atlantic Way adventure. Morning all, this is our last day at the Eco Beach um, caravan and camping site at Clifton. Uh, the sun has been out on and off, <laughs> which has been quite nice. It's a bit windy because we are on a peninsula, but uh, we're going to make the most of it and head on slightly north today. We went south yesterday. Fingers crossed today the rain doesn't come down quite as heavily as it did yesterday. Um, apparently it's not normal weather for July in Ireland, but uh, I think the weather's been a bit strange all over the place, hasn't it, recently? So I'll show you on the map where we're going. Right, so we are literally here on the map. I don't know if that's showing up very well. Opposite Omi Island. We're not going to go over there. Every time we come back, the tide is in full force and it's quite strong. <laughs> uh, Clifton's just down here. We went there yesterday. Today, we're going to go north. We're going um, to go this way towards Letterfrap and then up this way towards Island View. There's a beautiful white beach there, apparently, and Renville Castle. Uh, if we have time, we're going to go along to Killary Harbour and further up on a different map page. But what we're not gonna do is what we did when we first got here and just try and tick off all the main points because it ends up becoming a sort of contest to get all the places seen instead of actually taking the Irish sort of pace of life and actually enjoying what you're looking at. The Connemara National Park, by the way, is phenomenal, really beautiful. So if you are thinking, should you cover this area, I would definitely do it. The Burren was a bit stark by comparison, but still interesting. But this is stunning. Right, well, before we hit the road, we need to have some breakfast. way north today. So this is Renville Beach or Islands View. There are a lot, a lot of islands in view here, as well as hills, mountains. Still the 12 bends, part of the 12 bends in the Connemara National Park. But what a stunning view. Sea's really loud today. As you can see, we've got the usual mix of dramatic cloud with occasional burst of sunshine.
those hills, how amazing are they? There's a campsite here too. Well, I'm not going to get tired of these beaches. They're beautiful. Harbour or fjord is 16 kilometres long and in the centre it's almost 45 metres deep. 20,000 years ago it is believed you could walk from here all the way to Norway on a glacier. The fjord forms part of a natural border between the counties of Galway and Mayo. From this point you can see the Malm Turk Mountains and the Twelve Bends. The salmon just tried to jump up. I saw something jump anyway.
At the northern end of this valley, right next to the road, there is a cross built in memory of the victims of the Dular tragedy. During the Great Famine in 1849, hundreds of inhabitants of Lewisburg set off on foot to Delphi Lodge to seek food and shelter. However, they were turned away, and as many as 400 are believed to have died of hunger and exposure trying to return home. There is a quote engraved on the cross by Mahatma Gandhi, which says, It has always been a mystery to me how people can feel honoured by the humiliation of their fellow human beings. If you can see up there on the ridge line, there's a helicopter, rescue helicopter. Evening all, we are back after another full and exhausting day. Uh, we've done quite a few stops. Um, we didn't actually manage to stop for any lunch anyway. <laughs> And we did take uh, barbecue stuff to use the biolite, but we didn't manage that either. All the beaches we went to were either really windy or we just weren't hungry at that point. So anyway, Doug's getting the kettle on, putting the dishes away. So it's a cup of tea and some food because we're starving now. Uh, it's been mostly sunny today, which has been nice. Just a little bit blowy. Uh, a few showers every now and then. But it's a bit dull and overcast now, but we're so tired. It's going to be a cup of tea, some food and probably to bed. <laughs> Morning all. Well, today we are heading back to Dublin Port, but we get to drive through this beautiful, beautiful scenery. The sun is hitting those hills. It looks amazing. If you get the chance to come here, I would thoroughly recommend it. Oscar Wilde summed up the Connemara National Park in just two words, savage beauty. If you've enjoyed this series of videos, please do give me a thumbs up and tell me which was your favourite part. And if you've been to Ireland before, any recommendations are always welcome. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you next time. <laughs>